Hello all. In this video, we will see how to use CNC Shield with Gerbil and UGS Universal G Code Sender software to control three axes of uh, CNC machines. The CNC Shield we have is version 3 and uh, can be easily plugged onto Arduino, you know. And uh, uh, Shield has got uh, positions for uh, drivers X, Y, Z, and A axis. And the power supply required is external, and we require According to the stepper motors, we use 12 volt 5 ampere here as our uh, stepper motors are NEMA 17. And we use only X and Y axis for this demo. And uh, A4988 is the driver we are using on X and Y axis. It has got a, a heat sink also, and you can paste it. Locate the enable pin of uh, A4988, and it has to ma match with the EN pin. It has to align with the EN pin of the uh, CNC shield plug on the 4988 driver and plug in the stepper motor uh, bipolar stepper motor 1A1B 2A2B it is a direct uh, rally mate connector and now we have to set the current limiting for this uh, use a multimeter uh, one end of uh, probe you place it at the ground and the other end directly on the preset V reference should be around 0.6 as the current limiting of NEMA 17 we are using is 1.5 amps 1.5 divided by 2.5 it should be 0.6 you can directly measure it on the uh, preset itself the positive probe can be kept on the preset and uh, do the current setting for both the drivers it should be around 0.6 amps now the current limitation is done at the fa 498 first position we are using NEMA 17 motor at the second position we are using a linear motion actuator with the NEMA 17 so this two x and y axis we are going to check this grbl pronounced as gerbil is a free open source software that is used for stepper control with the Arduino boards this enables us to use you know to operate CNC machines, laser cutters and 3D printers. It has got advantage over other softwares. It is free and open source. And uh, download the source code zip file. And then unzip the file. Copy only the gerbil folder, grbl, gerbil folder to documents Arduino library. This is how to install in the Arduino library. Paste the gerbil folder inside the library. Now you can close the uh, close the folder and open the Arduino IDE under examples. Gerbil gerbil upload. This is the code example code we are going to upload. Inside this code you can see only a header file gerbil.h header file nothing else. So simply upload this code. Now your Arduino is ready with gerbil. You close the Arduino IDE. Now you have to get another software UGS Universal G Code Sender to control the CNC machines using Arduino with gerbil loaded. To send G code we use this UGS. Download the UGS, unzip it and inside the bin folder you have or uh, you have this application UGS Universal G Code Sender open the G UGS F far right side window is the visualizer where you can see your model and toolpath you can rotate view of the model and monitor cutting process by following the yellow cone which represents the tool the yellow cone is the tool on the left hand side you can see three tabs at the bottom Tool, toolbox, macros and then jog controller toolbox has some tools and then macros and then the jog controller which manually change the position of your rotor and then uh, to the top of the jog box is the controller state which is digital readout DRO window which shows real time location of your tool bit in relation to your zero coordinates so on the center is the console and the bottom of the console is the command box command box at bottom to manually send g code commands now go to machine and then set up wizard and under connection you set communication as jserial.com and then firmware as gerbil 
compound select the Arduino compound and baud rate is 115200 now it is connected then the next one is the download text file with G code which is actually for advanced uh, users this is only a basic video so we are not using this the text uh, file is created using ink space or any other CNC apps the third step is motor wiring you can press the X minus and X plus Y minus Y plus and three axis movement by pressing the button you can check whether uh, the step of motors are working manual wiring checkup in this step you can check individually all the axis x y and uh, z axis whether the stepper motor is working or not we have only x and y axis so we ch do the checking for x and y axis and the next step is uh, uh, step calibration here you have to press the x minus or x plus to move one mm and then measure the actual movement of the, the linear stepper and then feed the value here this is to calibrate actual steps per mm as this is a demo video we have for uh, demo purpose we just feed actual value and one and the measured value as also one for both x and y axis we do not have a z axis here so for x and y axis we feed one mm each and then go on to the next and the next is for uh, uh, end switches end switches and the homing that is for actual cnc mission three axis cnc mission settings we do not have this so let us uh, directly go to the g code uh, testing g code first code command uh, let us give g0 x5 please note uh, it is g0 not go it is g0 x5 you can see the tool moving to 5m on x axis and g0 y5 the next command so the tool will move in y axis 5m and you can see the y axis stepper is moving and G28 is for homing, home position. You can also use G0, X0, Y0. It is both the same. G28 is homing. And G0 is rapid movement, linear movement. Next uh, command is G1 command, which is for absolute movement with feed rate. So G1, X5, always use dot after the numeric and then the feed rate you have to provide, F100. So X, it moves 5 mm g1 y5 dot f100 so the y axis y position 5 mm movement so this is a linear absolute movement it's actually used to cut a straight line and g28 is for homing next we have g20 command which uh, moves in inches up to now we are movement is in mm g20 is for uh, inch movement g20 y 2 point and f100 will move 2 inch the y uh, axis motor will move in inches and g21 is in mm so for three axis you have to have uh, this type of uh, original cnc machines xyz operation then only you can check the full functional functionality of the g code center thank you for watching